Hi everyone, welcome to this next session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1Q Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology. You ready to get some high points come test day? It starts right here, right now. With this question, a 16-year-old girl brought to the physician because of redness and a yellowish discharge from her left eye for the past two days. Notice what I bolded there. When you're dealing with symptoms of the eye, you've got to think of a lot of different possibilities here. So one, it's red, but two, there's a discharge. What type of discharge? Yellowish. From both eyes? No, nope. just one eye and the left eye. And how long has this been going on for? Not months, not years, two days. That's why this stuff has to come out to you. It's bold on here. It's not going to be bold on test day. But on test day, you're going to hear my voice and see it turn bold to you yourself. She has had minimal crusting upon awakening in the morning, but has not had eye pain or previous trauma. That's big, differential diagnosis. You're the doctor here. So she's got no eye pain, no trauma to cause this from happening. Physical exam shows diffuse conjunctival hyperemia, so a lot of redness in the eye, and a mucoid discharge. So she's got that redness in the discharge. The pupils are reactive to light, that's good, but there's bile photophobia of the affected eye. So we shine some light and it's a little painful for her to look in the light. Gram stain of the exudate shows the most important thing so far in this question. What? The bacteria, pleomorphic gram-negative bacilli. Right off the bat, you gotta be thinking, what bacteria could this be? Which of the following is necessary to culture the most likely organism on a blood agar plate? So this is a great question because it's not just asking you what the bacteria is. It's saying, okay guys, so you probably figured out what the bacteria is, that's great. But in order to get this question right, in order to get those higher points on test day, we want you to know how do we actually culture this organism that you think it is. So let's look at the answer choices. Choice A says antibiotics to inhibit normal flora. B says a cold temperature, C, egg yolk cholesterol, D, reduced oxygen tension, and E, staph aureus on blood agar. So take a few moments to try to tackle this question. Okay, so the correct answer here is staph aureus on blood, blood agar. Crazy answer, okay, and we're going to see why right here. A lot of thinking with this. This is a good critical thinking question. So overall, what's our diagnosis? Bacterial conjunctivitis. So key points about it. Number one, we've got purulent unilateral discharge and hyperemia of the conjunctiva. Okay, so red eye, one side with some discharge. You better be thinking bacterial conjunctivitis. What can cause it? Well, most common causes bacterial-wise, you think S. aureus, S. pneumoniae, but in this case, what I have bolded here, the causal organism is H. influenzae. How do you know that? Because they told you the pleomorphic gram-negative bacilli. That should stand out to you. You know S. aureus and S. pneumoniae are gram-positives. So what do we know about H. influenzae? What you have to know for test day is it requires factors 5 and 10. In order to get those, you actually have to co-culture H. influenzae with Staph aureus because Staph aureus lyses blood cells on this blood agar plate. You're the microbiologist. You put them on there. Staph aureus lyses the red blood cells. The red blood cells then release those factors 5 and 10 that H. influenza needs in order to grow. So definitely a good critical thinking question. Some takeaways for this. Number one, you have to be able to identify bacteria by shape and gram stain. That's the first thing this question asks you to do. Gram negative bacilli. Got to know bacilli, cocci, gram positive, gram negative. And then the other part of this question, knowing special conditions that they need for growth. So some of the wrong answers, antibiotics and chocolate agar for the Neisseria species. Cold temperatures was for Listeria. We need that egg yolk cholesterol if you want to grow mycoplasma. And that low oxygen tension for microaerophiles like Campylobacter or Borrelia. But for this one, you knew the answer being Staph aureus and blood agar because you knew it was H. influenza and you knew what the growth factors were that needed it to be able to grow. But a lot of critical thinking in this question, a lot to know. These are the questions that differentiate the high point scores from the average point scores. You, we want you all to be that high point scorer. That's why you're here with me today. 
That's why I'm here to be with you today. Thanks for joining me with Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. I'll see you for our next session on our way to take the most points for test day.